Hey yo, what's bustin' fellas? It's your boy here, and we back. We got some more fake content for you today, and we have Pawns of Loki making a return. So I thought now would be as good a time as any to knock out the scoring guide video for this mode. It's a very confusing mode, actually. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of rules going on here, and it's very different from all the other modes. I've heard some people compare this mode to being like an auto chess kind of thing. I've never played a game that has auto chess, so I don't really know. I actually liken this mode to poker, because <laughs> you're trying to make a lot of matches. You're trying to make matching sets and matching colors and things like that. So to me, it's more reminiscent of poker than anything else. <laughs> but if you want to call it auto chess, be my guess. Okay, so we had over here, and the cool thing about this mode is that you only got to make tier 11 one time. You only got to get there once, and your reward is a platinum trophy for all your efforts. That platinum trophy is a one-and-done thing. Anytime you get it after the first, it converts into feathers. So that is the one saving grace here, I guess. You don't have to really stress yourself out with this mode and, like, always try to aim for the top rank. You just got to do it one time, and you're good. And then for the rest of the time, you can just coast like I'm doing right now. I've got my platinum trophy, so I can just chill out and relax. Okay, so you head over to the bottom now. You want to make sure before you do anything else, you check the bonuses. So right now, we caught a break. Bonuses unrestricted. We're able to use all units, all weapon types, and all colors, and all that stuff. So that's fine. But when it's not that way, when you have to actually run bonus units, you got to be mindful of which weapon types are getting it. So sometimes it's magic type units where tomes and dragons would be getting it or like physical base units. So bows and daggers and beast type weapons, swords, lance, axes, things like that. So you want to make sure whenever the bonus is in play and bonus units are getting bonus weapon types, you want to make sure 30% of your team is actually fulfilling this bonus. So that, that's how you're going to get your maximum score from the bonus. So you don't need to run a full team of like all bonus weapon types. You only need 30% of your team to do that. So that's already one good thing. Now let's head over to the brigade tab here. So first and foremost, you'll notice that I'm running all dragons and tomes. That is because dragons and tomes have been available for the longest. So we have a lot of options for them. There's also very easy amount of units to find on the friends list if you're using these guys. Merges do matter on this mode, and you are allowed to use your friend characters without any detriment there, so that is good. So <laughs> just go ahead and pick all your plus 10 friends pretty much and have them fight for you here, and it's going to save you a bit of trouble. You do want to be mindful of your builds though, so HP is the way that scoring works in this mode. Nothing else matters. BST is irrelevant. Passive skills are irrelevant, like scoring and things like that, but your HP, you want to make sure your HP is as high as you can possibly get it. So this store right here would be a prime example of a unit built for this mode. We have Blue Duel Flying, which gives HP up 5, and then we have the new Squad Ace BS Seal, which gives another HP up 5 and double stats up 3. So... Thor is a really good unit for this mode, actually, because she's able to inflict exposure on the enemies, which raises your DPS. And then also, on top of the support, she's just got a bunch of high-scoring skills here. So, shout-outs to Kerr free to play for setting up this awesome Pawns of Loki unit. Now, that would pretty much be the same way you would look at all your other stuff. Just try to get whatever has the highest HP. Merges are going to raise your HP, so that's why you would want to go for a, a bunch of plus 10 options here. And you want to focus on weapon types that have four separate colors. So as we see, dragons have red, blue, green, and colorless. Tomes, of course, also have the same thing. There is one set, though, that does not have all four, and that is swords, lances, and axes. They do not get a colorless bonus from staffs for whatever reason. So I would not recommend running swords, lances, and axes for this mode, as unfortunate as that may be. You want to focus on the weapon types that are getting four separate colors. So bows, daggers, tomes, dragons, and beasts. That's also another area where you want to be mindful, though, because as I said earlier, dragons and tomes have been around the longest. It's not like too often when we get colored daggers or colored bows. And beasts have only recently been getting a lot of options. So it's more likely you're going to have a lot of tomes and dragons that you can run. So th those would be the two primary choices I would recommend. 
but you're free to use like anything that has four separate colors and you also want to make sure that your movement types are very very balanced here because you're going to want to try to make matching movement types where you have two of a kind and then you have one of every movement type so if we go ahead and sort here by movement type we can take a look at how my squad is set up yeah so we've got pretty much five of every movement type i have five infantry five cavalry five armors and five flyers so those would be th that's how i've got my squad set up so that i can get a better chance of activating all of the score bonuses you don't need to balance it like that like you don't need five and five of everything but to me it just makes it a little easier to find the units when you're popping the mulligans and like all that stuff so i've got my team set up like that and you want to make sure the colors are also pretty good so you want like two of every color for each separate weapon type we've got tomes we've got two of every tome and then we've got two of every dragon and then we got some free spaces where we're able to just run whatever this is usually where i'll run characters that have movement types that i need so for example like there's not too many tome armor type units so i chose two dragons that are armor types and then there's not too many dragons that are cavalry or flyer types so i chose those two down here to be tome units as extra options so that's pretty much everything you need to know about setting up your squad you want to aim for as much hp as you can get units that have the most merges are going to make that easier to do obviously and you're free to pick up your friends units to use them let's quickly go ahead and do a run now if you're trying to go for tier 11 you would have to play on advanced difficulty so <laughs> you only got to do it one time as i said but it is very infuriating and time consuming to actually get a perfect run because in this mode if you're losing units or if your units are taking a lot of damage, you're going to end up lowering your score by having that happen. So you want to try to avoid taking damage and avoid losing units if possible. It's basically impossible for that to happen now because of like how crazy the power creep is. But if you can do it, it's recommended, right? So, okay. We head in here now and we can go ahead and take a look at the list of all the combos you can make. This is why I call this poker. So you got three separate combos you can do here weapon type combo as i said having swords lances and axes and staves are a no-no because they don't they only get three of a kind so they would be getting plus six while all these other weapons are getting plus eight so you can get a plus eight bonus from the weapon type combo twice for having as i'm doing here tomes and also dragons although you could do any of these combos that you want so like bows and daggers if you wanted beasts and tomes beasts and dragons whatever tickles your fancy i guess is fine here just as long as you have two sets of these weapons and you've got one of each one deployed then we have the move type mix combo so for having one of every movement type you're getting another plus six from this so that would be plus eight plus eight plus six and then down here for having two of a kind you're going to be getting another combo here this one goes up to plus six as well so in total you can get a maximum of a bonus of plus 28 for having two of these two weapon type combos at max level four for the move mix combo you can get a plus six and then for the move type pair you can get a plus six by having three of separate movement types with a double you don't get any extra points from having all four with a double so don't worry about that all right let's go ahead and we'll play a little bit we're not going to do like a full run but we'll just show you guys the basics here now this right here i, I don't know what this currency is called but th this is basically the amount of points you can use for actions here so by selecting a unit that would waste two points it shows you the amount of score that it costs to buy a unit and then this would be like your money your currency so we'll go ahead and take duo asker here because his support is really good for this mode he gives open domain to everybody we can also pop a mulligan for free the first mulligan on every rotation is free after that it costs two bucks or like two currency whatever that is okay do we want leo should we replace leo you can also replace units so as you see both of these guys cost two points if i were to put them back and get back some money let's go ahead and put leo back and then we're going to get two points the first time you do this per rotation it's going to be the max refund but if you try to refund a unit the second time they're going to be half the score so asker he was worth two points if i tried to put him back after i put somebody back already 
he would only be giving me back one dollar or like one currency so that's something else you want to be mindful of all right let's see who do we want to actually take out here i guess we'll go for let's go for nagi why not and then we'll just have asker deal with this guy now total hp here 58 that is the combined hp of nagi and asker and that is pretty much going to be how your scoring works all eight of your possible units will combine their hp to get your total hp score and you don't want to take any damage here because taking damage lowers your score all right, right there we took no damage on asker so that was good we got our total hp you also want to make sure you're koing all of the foes to get another maximum bonus there if you're unable to kill all the enemies it'll actually lower your score slightly or you you wouldn't be getting the maximum possible score so you want to make sure to route all the foes all right, we have an infantry type. We got an armor type. Let's try to get some separate movements here. We'll go for Micaiah, and then we'll also go for Leo. So that gave us one of every movement type. That also gave us three separate tomes of different colors. So now we're actually kind of cooking here. We've got some pretty nice options. All right, what do we want to do here? Let's get Leo over there, and then this should actually be okay. I'm not going to play like a full run because the video is already 11 minutes. I've been chewed out for having long videos. So, all right, let's see here. We, I'll at least try to get some dragon bonuses. We would be looking now for a blue tome unit and we got one there. We got Takumi to show up so we can pick him up and that's going to give us the plus eight for having one of every comb, tome color. And for dragons, we would need to get some different color options, but we're not getting them to show up. We're getting pretty unlucky. Okay, we got Tiki there. We'll take her. Tiki costed three bucks, though, so we're not going to be able to pick up somebody else. And that's pretty much how it works. I, I think I'll do one more round so we can at least get the dragon bonus here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get these guys in. We'll put Asker right there. Just quickly run through this round, and then we can start setting up a little better. All right, come on, let's see some dragons. Okay, we did. We got Na there, who we can go ahead and pick up. Na has a pretty good support refine, so she's not too shabby in here as well. And that's pretty much it. Now we would just need a colorless dragon to complete the bonus there, and we would be good. We would need either another uh, cavalry or a flyer type to complete that. Let's go ahead and take Leo, and we'll show it. Yeah, so plus six. Like I said, you don't get plus eight from having all four movement types doubled up. So don't worry about that. You only need three. And that's pretty much all you need to know about this mode. So <laughs> I hope this was informative. It's a lot to take in and it's kind of confusing. But you, if you need to reference what type combos you can get, you can always just click on this book tab right there and it'll show you all of the hands you can get <laughs> a la poker. And pretty much just don't lose any HP. Deploy a bunch of units that have as high HP as you can possible. You can possibly get so like max merges and then like hp boosting passives like hp up five the seal um fire flood boost is another one now so there you guys go that is pretty much everything to know about pawns of loki let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you have any more questions i can try to clear up any of those in the comment section as well so this is your boy tacho signing out take care fellas and i'll catch y'all again on the flip side